Next, the Metropolitan Police has announced it's launched an investigation into the Cash for Honours allegations linked to Prince Charles's charity, the Prince's Foundation. Well, our Royal Correspondent is in Windsor for us now. And Simon, what have the police done so far then? Hi, Danny. Well, they've reviewed the documents, but there have been no arrests and no interviews under uh, caution and uh, apparently no request for an interview yet with Prince Charles, but that's the uh, big question. Now, this is all to do with uh, apparently an offer of uh, honours and citizenship to a Saudi uh, tycoon, and this is what Clarence House, Prince Charles' officials said in September. The Prince has no knowledge of the alleged offer of honours or citizenship. Two months later, though, his uh, right-hand man, uh, Michael Fawcett, uh, resigned. But apparently, at the moment, no request for an interview with Charles. And, of course, Prince Charles' brother, Prince Andrew, is in the news again today. Many, of course, questioning how he can afford to pay the settlement to Virginia Giuffray and whether the Queen herself has played a part in it all. Well, the, the, the short answer is we don't know, Danny. This is assumption. Uh, Andrew certainly doesn't have the rumoured £12 million to settle that. He's selling his uh, ski chalet in Switzerland, which would fund some of it. But the assumption is he will have to revert to the bank of mum. That won't come from taxes, it won't come from taxpayers' money, but from the Queen's uh, private estates. She is very wealthy in her own right. Uh, the Republic, the pressure group which wants to abolish the monarchy, says that money effectively is public money, so that's a, a matter of uh, debate. Andrew lives on the royal estate here at Windsor. He doesn't live in the castle. He's not been seen today, but his mother has. I'm here. <laughs> the Queen was in good form today, back to formal engagements for the first time since the beginning of her Platinum Jubilee. She met the outgoing Defence Services Secretary and his successor, he's her liaison official with the military. Perhaps they discussed what to do with a certain Vice Admiral, but perhaps not. Vice Admiral York, also known as Prince Andrew, retains his military rank, but not much else. The out-of-court settlement with Virginia Giuffray includes no admission of guilt, but many millions of pounds. One of the lawyers for Jeffrey Epstein's victim says it's a big win for Virginia Giuffray. A monetary settlement can be more than about the money. It can be about accountability. It can be a measure of justice. It can be a measure of closure, allowing the victim to put that chapter of their life behind them and move forward. So a significant settlement can really mean a lot to a, to a victim that, that goes way beyond the actual monetary value of it. This infamous photograph has been at the centre of the case for years. Its authenticity was questioned by friends of the prince, but now he's settled with a woman he claimed to have never met. I think this scandal is probably the worst thing to have hit the royal family within the last 50 years. It's brought the Me Too scandal into the heart of the British royal family, into the heart of this institution. It's hugely damaging. Perhaps settlement was the least worst option. It means a trial doesn't loom over the family and the Jubilee. And it also means we will never again see this scene. He may have royal blood, but the Queen's second son is now to all intents and purposes, a private citizen. So, Simon, will we ever see him in public again? Uh, not much, Danny, although next month, at the end of the next month at Westminster Abbey, it's the service of Thanksgiving for the life of the Duke of Edinburgh, Andrew's father, of course. I'm sure he will be at that. Whether he will be going through the Great West Door with the rest of his relatives is another matter. He may be there out of sight of the cameras. But effectively, uh, his uh, public role is now over. A lot of this process has been driven by two future kings, uh, Charles and uh, William. And this is all about protecting a 1,000-year-old dynasty, and nobody gets in the way of that. Mm. Simon Weigel, thank you very much.